For the last uh, six years, we've had super intense and fruitful collaborations between the CCAS program, the University of Oxford, uh, the University of Utrecht is now getting involved on a global scenarios project where in seven global regions, we've been developing regional scenarios uh, about uh, climate change, agriculture, and food security, challenges and drivers that we've been using uh, to guide policy, national policy in all these seven regions in something like 25 different national case studies, many of which have turned into uh, great new policies and strategies that have been developed by looking at how different futures influence the feasibility of these policies. And in the process, what we've been able to do is to involve a lot of societal stakeholders in policy making. So the policy processes that we've engaged and been engaging with from uh, national agricultural climate adaptation strategies to large central socioeconomic development strategies and policies have been uh, become have become more uh, reflexive. They've become more responsive to uh, the future uncertainties, and they've been become more inclusive. Uh, what's been particularly interesting from an EU perspective is that uh, through the CICA Scenarios project, we've been working with a lot of European universities, and significantly, uh, the methods uh, and, and the approaches developed in the CICA Scenarios pro uh, project to engage with national policymakers, to engage with private sector and civil society, have been taken up as the basis for foresight in a number of EU uh, projects. One of them is an FP7 project called Transmango on the future of food in Europe, uh, which is a very much a kind of uh, exploration of diverse uh, food uh, uh, innovation practices and linking to EU policy. And SysFunds, uh, which is an Horizon 2020 project uh, where we're developing a modeling toolbox for future food and nutrition security in Europe. And another project, a recent project called Salsa, has also taken up these methods. And so we're seeing a lot of opportunities for taking the learning from the CCAS project and applying it to European projects and working together with European partners. Uh, we've also been using games and game co-design as a way to think about planning a policy. And we've used this uh, together with an, another European Horizon 2020 project called Jam Today, which specializes in games for policy analysis.